Hello, I am your weather woman meteorologist Amy Meds at the beach today with my kids in Hawaii. But there is severe weather I want to talk about, a very distinct couplet. Now, if you have seen my reading radar, how to use your weather apps video on YouTube, this is what I was getting at with the base velocity and how we can see tornadoes in the sky just from radar products. So you'll notice greens and reds swirling together here and then a touch of white indicating that there's even stronger winds there and it's all rotating so green moves toward a radar station and red is moving away and these are averaged speeds so when we see them swirl together like this and what is called a couplet it is very indicative and most likely that there is at least a funnel or a tornado with this so there's other products we can use to check debris balls and i'll get into that a little bit more but first let's get an overview here so it is severe weather season in the united states we'll get back to that there's a huge uh system moving across the pacific right now bringing tiny bits of rain here and there to hawaii but nothing major and in the south pacific the indian ocean we're seeing fewer and fewer cyclones now as they move into their winter but spring has just begun in the united states so that's where the focus is right now with all the tornado warnings Many of them are radar indicated. When you see the red outlines, that's a radar indicated tornado in most cases, unless the warning says it's been spotted on the ground. And anything green outline is going to be a flash flood watch. This is a lot of tropical moisture coming up right now from farther, much farther from where the rain is down near the equator. So extra tropical moisture plus severe storms embedded in here with tornadic signatures on the radar in some cases here so anything red i'll be digging into a little bit deeper with a higher resolution imagery so that we can better see what's going on there uh, first let's look at windy the app that has both lightning and rain on it so anything orange is going to be more torrential downpours but you can see there's a ton of strikes and one good thing here is that the temperatures will be dropping soon that doesn't mean that the tornadic cells and all tornado watches should be dropped, but it does usually indicate that there will be fewer, stronger storms capable of producing tornadoes. Hail and wind gusts are still a very huge threat, can be very damaging. You can see now all of that moisture coming up from near the equator and why this red plume has been really expansive producing a lot of flash floods today is because it's tropical moisture. So now on this app we can take a deeper look at the radar products in a higher resolution. So I'll use this to zoom in on all of the tornado warnings right now and again with this higher resolution information it's easy here to see that there's some different colors in there. And those again mean even stronger speeds at that point and that these are rotating at least in this averaged level in the atmosphere so this is a horizontal cross section that we're looking at right now and that can be very indicative of a tornado north of Atlanta right now if not I would at least be willing to say there's a funnel cloud there now some of these other tornado warnings uh, may be a little bit closer to the tornado genesis period where they are just beginning and perhaps not on the ground but i will dig into what is near tuscaloosa right now we did already have that first radar imagery i showed had confirmed damage with it not too far from here the pass by hoover so again just a little bit north of what was just hit and a touch south of tuscaloosa is in the line of fire for another tornado warning indicated by radar so I'm hoping no more of these touch down and just to reiterate the temperatures these should start to decrease in number as the day goes on I've been seeing about five to seven at a time as we are in the warmer parts of the day and now that this entire system has shifted more eastward we are getting the East Coast warnings coming up so one near Charlotte not projected to go through the town but neighboring towns just to the north so the Carolinas also have plenty of storms passing by them. North Georgia, central and northern Alabama, central and northern Mississippi, and central 
Tennessee all should be on high guard right now. If you know anybody within these warning areas, please go ahead and notify them. And I'll stop back to the one that is just north of Atlanta right now. I'll be moving here soon and uh, it looks like my kind of weather uh, so long as it's not hurting anyone. And here the vertical cross section is showing us that there is a, a higher um, probability that this does have rotation going on even closer to the ground than some of the other tornado warnings out there right now. So everybody please take cover if you're in that region right now within that polygon cone. And I hope everybody can stay safe and stay prepared through today's severe weather across the southeast. By Friday, things sh should be totally different. So once that last line of storms on the west end of this system passes you, then you should be in the clear for another about week or so. And we'll keep looking ahead at what's to come. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video. You can also find me on Facebook at Weather Woman Amy Metz.